Yo, what is going on, everybody? My name is Connor, but you guys call me Superior. And um, before we jump into the video, I wanted to thank each and every one of you that I played with over the weekend. It was a lot of fun playing with a lot of my subscribers. And um, if any of you guys ever want to play with me, the best way to do so was over on Twitter. I'll tweet out, like, send a message or so Superior on Xbox Live if you guys want to play. Or you can tweet me saying you guys want to play, and I'll kind of throw you into the rotation or something like that. So follow me on Twitter. Link will be in the description. That's the best way to get in touch with me if you guys want to play. Um, you know, sadly, I can't accept everyone's friend request just because they don't have that much room on my friends list um, otherwise I would but today I'm bringing you guys episode one of best class setups and it's basically a series that I'm starting where I'm gonna go over um, almost every gun or at least every gun that I use and I give you guys the best class setups and some tips to be successful with that in episode one we're gonna have my favorite class with the AK-12 and that'll be popping up on your screen right now it's the AK-12 with suppressor and extended mags you guys know I love that gun just cause it's low recoil and it's great at medium to long range and if you set yourself up to succeed on where you put yourself on the map so you're not just getting overrun with people and having to win close range gunfights with it you really shouldn't have a problem as long as you can find enough people and your teammates don't cap the blitz portal like it seems to happen in every single game and if you guys watch the gameplay in the background it is like a 3 minute chem strike on siege with this gun and siege is an absolutely ridiculously big map so that is pretty fast if you look at the map now on the class setup i don't like to use any secondaries lethals or tacticals just because i feel like those are kind of a waste of a perk just because a secondary you know i don't really need it you know i can i have a primary you know why do i need a secondary and without having those extra lethals and tacticals that's just more perks i can put on and perks are constantly working for me constantly kind of working to keep me alive and that's what i need when i'm on a streak now i have quick draw but quick draw you can kind of um interchange for stalker if you like that more you know that's pretty much personal opinion i have dead silence and amplify just because those two kind of work together to sound horror and be able to find out where the enemies are and have them not know where you are um, i also have focus just because i cannot win a gunfight if i get if i don't get first shot with it um, um, you know that I'm fucked and a hard line just because I want to get my strike package specialist bonus that much earlier um, As far as the specialist perks I have scavenger is my first one just because if you don't have fully loaded on you are not gonna be able to get like 25 kills or whatever it is that you need um, You know without with just the starting ammo, which you get like a hundred bullets and it's definitely not enough And I have slight a hand just because I love to be able to reload faster um, You know, it's definitely a pain in the ass especially with the long reload of the AK-12 stalker because it's nice to slide around like Alex Ovechkin and then my specialist bonus I have agility and marathon just because it's nice to feel fast off the grid because everyone uses support and you know with support comes satcoms and with satcoms comes radar and with the radar comes your death so uh throwing off the grid and then I have resilience because I don't feel like falling and dying because that would piss me off a lot and since it's only one perk slot I figured minus I'll throw it on since I can't put on any other like bigger perk so I just threw that on just because now, like I mentioned earlier in the video, when you're using this class, you definitely have to set yourself up. It's definitely not a class that you can just kind of rush around or do whatever you want with. Just because the AK-12, you know, it's not um, it's not like the MSMC from Black Ops 2 or the MTAR from this game or anything like that. You definitely have to play like you're using... Um, like you're using an assault rifle you know that's something that you really can't forget so if you notice in the gameplay i'm definitely not rushing around that much or i'm you know i'm being mobile but i'm not um i'm not being stupid and um you know i like to set myself up for long range gunfights just because th that's what this gun excels at and um you know i can't say that enough play how the gun is made to play with you know if you're using an mtar rush because if you try and get long range kills with it you're gonna get fucked in your ass and that's not gonna work so i do hope you guys use this class i um, promise you success with it comment down below what class you guys want to see next leave a like if you guys did enjoy let's go for 100 likes and um you know tomorrow i'll put out another how to spawn trap series and i know you guys enjoy that um you know we had a lot of fun doing that this weekend me and a bunch of people got together a bunch of my subscribers you guys um we set up a bunch of great spawn traps and it was a ton of fun so like i said if you guys want to play with me just follow me on twitter and i'll tweet out when i want to play with people thank you so much for th for 3,000 subscribers guys I hope you all have a wonderful day i am out